Today we're going to create a new Flutter Android application and integrate it with the Server Stack service utilizing Add Server Stack Reference. Server Stack services can be used like any other HTTP APIs, so for a Flutter application you could use the standard HTTP library to make your requests and that would work fine. However, Server Stack also provides client libraries in many different languages including Dart that take advantage of the message-based design Server Stack follows as well as features to make access easier. Add Server Stack Reference is a feature where the specific Server Stack instance that your application is integrating with actually generates the client code on the server that represents the data contracts for that server application for a specific language. This lets you communicate with any Server Stack instance in a familiar way across many languages, all while providing a typed end-to-end -end integration. Today we'll be using the Dart language to integrate our Flutter Android application using the Add Server Stack Reference tooling and the Server Stack Dart client package. Before we get started, we'll want to have a few things installed. The latest .NET 5 SDK, Android Studio with Flutter SDK, and Server Stack X tool or the Server Stack IDEA plugin for Android Studio. The Server Stack X tool can be installed using the command .NET tool install gx. The Server Stack IDEA plugin for Android Studio can be found in the JetBrains plugin marketplace under File, Settings, Plugins, and search for Server Stack. Here I've created a new Flutter Android application using Android Studio. Running it for the first time, we can see in the emulator there is a button at the bottom right that increments the number displayed on the screen. To show how we can use Add Server Stack Reference and the Server Stack Client in our workflow, we're going to replace the displayed number with the response from a Server Stack Hello World service. First thing we'll want to do is to use Add Server Stack Reference to import our generated service contracts. This can be done by right clicking the folder you want the generated code to be in, going to New, and selecting Server Stack Reference. You'll be prompted for a base URL of your Server Stack application. Here we're using one of our hosted examples at the URL web.web-templates.io. Once added, hit enter or click OK and a file containing your data transfer object classes or DTOs will be added to your project. If you prefer to use command line utilities, the X tool can do the same with the command X space dart space the base URL of your running server stack application. Now we have our generated DTOs, we'll need to pull in the server stack client for dart as a dependency in our pubspec YAML file. Performing a pub get to install any missing dependencies will resolve any type issues we have with our generated DTOs, meaning we're ready to start making requests to our server stack application. To do this, we'll want to use the JSON service client, which is a part of the server stack Dart dependency. The constructor takes the base URL of our server stack application, and we will use the request class of the service we want to use, in this case, the hello request class. Next, we'll want to create a method that performs the hello request and uses the response to update a hello response state field. Taking our hello response, we'll replace the text box that takes the hello response and the result and displays the result if the button has been pressed. We'll notice that the result property is coming up in our autocomplete. This is because the JSON service client can infer the response type from what we'll get back from the get request based on the class used to make the request. Going to the definition of the hello request, we can see how this works. The hello DTO class has an iReturn interface specifying the hello response DTO class. These DTOs are what makes up our service contracts, which all server stack clients across different languages use to infer typed responses from server stack servers. The last step is to wire our onPressed event of the button to our new fetch hello method. This will request our hello response data, update the state, and force the user interface to call the build method showing our newly fetched data. Using add server stack reference and server stack clients with your Flutter Android applications takes the guesswork out of what data you're requesting and getting back from the servers. Typed end-to-end -end APIs is one of the many advantages server stack servers bring to all clients and languages. Regardless of the use case like mobile application development or customers directly accessing your API, Service Stack's message-centric design makes interoperability easy and brings a consistent way to communicate to all clients across languages and platforms. That's it for this video. I hope this example has been useful and thanks for watching.